La battaglia comincia. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, worshippers of all ages, welcome to YouTube. My name is Sea Raptor, and today we've got a battle report for you from the bridge of Tier 8 Italian cruiser Amalfi. Now, of course, Amalfi is currently available as essentially a pre release ship. Uh, if you spend some money on the fancy Italian containers, or you just get lucky with the ones coming out of the directives, you have the opportunity. Uh, it's all RNG, pure chance to get a awarded a mission that allows you to earn an Amalfi. And if you were watching some of my videos that posted last week, Wargaming uh, gifted us some of the, uh, the Italian cruiser containers. I did manage to get missions for uh, Amalfi Trento and Montecuccoli, and uh, spent some time on Sunday, Sunday afternoon streaming, and managed to unlock all three ships. So this is my very first game, taking my brand new preview, preview cruiser Amalfi out into the game. I have her rigged up here uh, with all the camos and flags primarily to grind out captain experience. Um, I think I have about a 10 point captain on the ship right now and I'm just trying to, to build that captain up. Spawning here on the north side of Hotspot. Now, early on, what I decided I was going to do was I was going to be fairly aggressive pushing this thing over to about the two line. If you're used to playing this map in, let's say, clan battles, you know that it's very common for for cruisers and 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 teams to, to use like for example there was a time way back in clan battles that you used to see a lot of teams push zows out to this one two line flank and that's essentially what i'm going to try and do but i'm going to be a little more aggressive about it pushing up probably all the way into e2 or so snuggled up to this island largely because i have my fancy smoke as an escape button so what i'm trying to do is is kind of get up here and and just I want to be able to throw some torps in that direction, maybe get some some shots on some battleships. The Atlanta radar picks up a Sims, and you can see there the horrible, unspeakable things that Italian SAP shells do to enemy destroyers. SAP shells are absolute murder to enemy destroyers, and it's honestly one of the better balancing decisions that Wargaming has made. That Italian cruisers don't have any way to spot these little buggers outside of spotting them with their face, getting close with their speed, as an example. They have no hydro. The plane, I guess, might, if you have a plane up, you might sniff one out. But you have no hydro, you have no radar. Um, you've got to be able to, you've got to rely on your teammates to spot those destroyers, or, you know, get them if they want to get in a gunfight with you. But once they do, once they're spotted, your shells do horrible, horrible things to destroyers. So that Sims is already very low. He, I don't think he's going to be with us very long. Now we can start to see kind of the crux of my play coming. I see those shells coming over the island, so I know that somebody's up here. I'll be spotted as soon as I swing a little wide. I don't know quite who it is. It turns out it's like a, a, a La Glacionaire. Tier 6 Frenchy Light Cruiser. Now, you're going to see this guy several times in the course of the match. You'll see him again, so remember him. But in the meantime, I'm mainly up here. As you see, there's a New Mexico, an Ismail, a Cleveland... All of these guys, it's very common for teams that push on this, on the, especially uh, that spawn on the south side of the map, to kind of push in this direction. Uh, and I was down here basically because I wanted to be able to throw torpedoes in their face and be a jerk. With my smoke active, I have an 8.7 detection firing in smoke. Nobody's that close. So as long as I can keep my guns on target, I can continue to put shells uh, downrange out of my smoke. And uh, I won't be bothering anybody. So obviously we flip around, obviously I'm not going to be able to do much over there. The Massachusetts kind of moves into that spot to hold back anybody from getting too terribly aggressive. And now with the AP loaded, I look to the center of the map, and what do my wandering eyes appear but a Baltimore? What is this guy doing? He's pushed up fairly aggressively, he's dueling in North Carolina at what amounts to point-blank range, and yet somehow he's kicking the North Carolina's face in. Look at that North Carolina, he had like 40,000 hit points, he was already down to two-thirds of his HP. Yeah, look at that, 39k. Now, I had the AP, AP loaded. I got a good salvo on him there, but he turned in. I didn't expect him to do this with the North Carolina cutting across the middle of the map. You see him there in E5. The Baltimore's turning back. Now, this is bizarre. I had already swapped to the SAP, so that's what he gets for the next salvo. But then I swapped back to the AP here because, well, I mean, if he's going to show me that angle, I'd be an idiot not to try for it. One of the skills I don't yet have on my Italian cruiser captain that I th I'm beginning to think is maybe not a bad idea is expert loader. For the very same reason that I take it on most of my German battleship captains. I'm sorry, my German cruiser captains. Uh, you just... Having the right ammo loaded at the right moment is, is very, very key to getting maximum performance out of the ship. 
Now, this North Carolina in the middle of the board is getting his face kicked in by basically the entire enemy team. If you look at the mini-map, you can see the entire enemy team is basically lemming training like due west, basically. The Baltimore's in the middle of the map along with the Cossack. They've left A completely, and yet, bizarrely, the ships that we had that went to A are all dead or not on the cap circle, which leads me to go, what the hell are you guys doing over there? This game is, well... This game is not going to go well for our team. At the moment, it looks salvageable. We're up a cap, down two ships. Okay, not awful, not great. I'm continuing to put pressure on this Baltimore in the middle of the map. He gets a salvo of the SAP here, but he turns out... Uh, I do get some solid damage out of this salvo, but then I, uh, he's going to give me a crappy angle. And I turn my attention now to the Cleveland that is charging our Sian Yang in the A cap itself. Now, I don't judge this Cleveland's movement very well. I'm not going to get a lot out of the salvo. I thought he was turning in. In fact, he was angled away from me. But I still, like, I still managed to land four full pins. And now he does turn in after I've switched to the AP. So this, this is not a salvo I want to take. However, I look back at the minimap and I see, oh, wait a minute, the Baltimore, what is this guy doing? Is he going to come around this island? Wait, surely not. And yeah, yeah, he is. Well, I mean, this is what Italian AP is made for, especially with that, that thick belt that he's got. My, I know with the velocity and the pen, I can get some solid hits and, yep, double sit on that guy. Realizing his predicament, he immediately changes course, trying to turn away. And uh, I get the SAP in the barrels just, just in time to get a salvo down range. And uh, I do suss him out briefly. He becomes kill number one. But once again, my team just has no idea how to stay alive, no idea what to do to even attempt to win a game. The Cossack has moved into the B cap, and now I'm in a bit of a pickle here because I've got a, Balt a Bismarck off to my south. The Cossack is what I'm here for. I know, we saw earlier with the Sims, I know exactly the nasty things that my shells can do to this guy. I'm not really concerned about his little pop guns. I know over the long term they can hit me, but he's not going to be landing any big salvos anytime soon. I, on the other hand, just put over, over 8,000 damage into him. So, I think he's starting to realize this is absolutely not a gunfight he wants any part of. The problem is, he has help. And I don't. Because, as soon as his battleships to the south start opening up, I absolutely start to get thumped right there. I take a 12,000 point hit, they knock out my... Oh, they don't knock out my engine. My apologies. I do manage to dodge the torpedo salvo that I kind of suspected was coming. But now I have to kill... I've basically sold the farm to kill this Cossack. We're three ships down. This is their only destroyer. He is their only destroyer in the entire game now. The Sims is dead. Ours, of course, are both dead. Most of our battleships are dead. Certainly our top-tier battleships are dead. But he manages to sneak away on 1,000 HP, and I cannot risk continuing after him because I have a Massachusetts, and a KG-5, and a Fiji, and a Le Galicianaire, all in the middle of the map, all looking to try and turn me into paste. So, I let him go. In the chat, I'm a, I'm a little salty about this game, right? Like, I feel like I'm playing decently. My position is not awful. Um, and the Le Galicianaire that we ran into earlier starts kind of jawing off and chat a little bit about how, how awful the SAP is and how awful the Italian cruisers are. One of the reasons that I'm making this video is this is, I only have about four, man, I played Amalfi more uh, during testing. I'd say this is probably my, let's say my 10th game in Amalfi, something along those lines. And one of the things that I've learned is that there are certain times, uh, you know, the SAP can be frustrating at times, right? But the key to maximizing your use of this ship is knowing when to fire the AP. Now, at the moment, I'm completely unspotted. I've driven the Cossack away. He can't risk getting spotted by me because I'll just crush him. I've got the AP in the barrels. I'm hunting Fiji. Everybody else has pulled back far enough that I can kind of be a little possibly overly aggressive and push up into the middle of the map looking for this Fiji to make a bit of a mistake. I'm having a hard time judging his speed. He's kind of like quarter speed right there maybe? I don't know. Uh, you can see me kind of waffling on my aim. I finally pull the trigger thinking he's probably moving about quarter speed and I don't expect to get much out of the salvo but I do still manage to land a couple of sits. Now that I've, you know, now that they know I'm here, it's time for me to pop my uh, my fancy my fancy smoke, and I, I get another salvo out downrange, again looking to try and just end him, but unfortunately, we get a whole faceful of overpins. And now, 
I've got pretty much no shots on anybody. I can't see the Fiji. He smokes up there on the edge of the uh, the decap there. I can't see him. I take a guess. I have no idea where he is. Pro I mean, uh, spoiler alert, I don't find him. And so now I've got to... Now we're four ships down. Like, this, this game is just absolutely falling apart. Like, my team... Like, what did my top-tier battleships do this game? <sighs> it's the constant frustration of mine that I always seem to end up in a game with battleships. You have 60,000 hit points, three, three charges of a heal, and they die in five minutes. What exactly did you do with your game, guys? Anyways... This torpedo salvo is a mistake. I didn't stop to look at the range. I'm thinking maybe if this Fiji's camped in there, I can spook him a bit. Just even as slow as those torpedoes are. But of course, if you look at the mini-map, you realize he's about 15 clicks off, and those only have a 12-kilometer range. So ignore those torpedoes. They're worthless. Ah, there's my Fiji. Now, with the SAP loaded, I'm, I'm a, I don't really necessarily care about the angle he's giving me. It means I have to try and predict how he's going to turn. I guessed correctly there that he was going to turn in. Ah, uh, Massachusetts. Of course it's a Massachusetts. Managed to dodge his salvo here, largely anyway, and put another salvo downrange of the Fiji, and once again, I call his movements correctly, and the SAP puts him off the board. So, we claw back a ship. We're still up, still up, cap, still up two caps now, because now I basically have to go into full-on kiting mode. Oh, wait, never mind, we just coughed up another ship. Now, the SAP has some weird quirks. You can see there, I got about an 8,000-point salvo against the Massachusetts. That's nothing to sneeze about. Not on a 13-second reload here. The trouble is, is that it's maddeningly difficult to repeat that kind of performance, as you can see there, where I only get two pins for less than 2K. So, realizing that if I'm going to beat this Massachusetts, this, I'm going to have to be in this for the long haul. I uh, And plus, I've got, you can see there on the counter, I've got a lot of people trying to kill me. I decide it's better to go dark for a bit. I've got to move through this gap here on the, up the 4-5 line to keep kiting. And now I'm trying to figure out how to bring my torpedoes into this game. I've been firing torpedo salvos. I haven't gotten anything out of any of them yet. But the Massachusetts moving through the center, I should be trying. I want my guns on my port side because I intend to continue to move east once I'm done uh, getting these torpedo salvos into the water. So i am I'm got my cursor locked. I'm trying to get my guns turned to port while I'm going to, in a minute, I'm going to flip back to starboard and try and get my starboard torpedoes back into the middle of the map as well. At this point, this is essentially a game that we cannot win, right? I mean, I'm, I've had a decent game. I've got a couple of kills. I've got almost 100,000 damage. But my team, as always, has no idea how to not die. So, I'm just, at this point, I'm trying to salvage what I can out of it. Going back to the SAP for a moment. Um... I know there's a lot of people out there that are kind of hating on the SAP right now. And I agree that there are times you just kind of like, ugh, I really wish I had HE instead. But there are times that you get really, really good performance out of these shells. They're really designed, in my opinion, to bully enemy cruisers and enemy destroyers. If you get a good salvo on a battleship, yay. I mean, that's a good thing. But you almost can't expect it just because it's not going to happen all that often. I'm going to take a pot shot at the Massachusetts as I cut behind the island here, thinking I'm going to break line of sight, and yet somehow he still has me for a little while. Phew, there we go. He does finally lose sight of me. Ah, the little Galician air. My old friend there, coming into the other side of the cap. So now, once again, my cunning plan to keep moving east. I'm like, well, maybe if I can reset these guys and salvage them, you know, I can salvage something out of this a bit, at least get my starboard torpedoes back into the cap. Maybe land some more damage, I don't know. We'll give it a shot. The Chapayev, by the way, on the G-line there, you see him on the minimap, is having a heroic game, just attempting to drag this team, kicking and screaming, back into relevance, despite their, their continued efforts to have none of it. Get the barrels flipped, get the SAP loaded, and now we're looking for the Lugal. Now, this is a bad salvo. I didn't lead him well. Knowing he's going to turn into me, I, I shorted it a bit. Um, or, yeah, I actually fired long behind him there. Um, so that's a bit of a mistake on my part. The, the Italian cruisers are absolutely going to struggle against an opponent or a team that basically just decides, I'm just going to sit down into you and laugh at you. Um, there's very little that you can do to, to even give them pause at that point. That's a terrible salvo I'm behind him. For some reason, I'm just really struggling with this guy. <laughs> 
And I'm like, all right, well, I'm, I'm about to run aground of this island in front of me. You can see I'm all the way up on the A-line. So I decide, oh, well, let's just keep running. Let's just run due east for a bit, and um, we'll give it a go. I can still see the battleships despite my smoke once again. Still, no one is near enough to me to see into my smoke yet. So I'm just going to keep firing and, and farming what damage I can. Massachusetts disappears, but I just put four pens into them for another 5K. You can get decent performance out of these shells, but they're almost, almost require the opponent to have some kind of, you know, 60 degree angle or less. Now that I'm detected in my smoke, I know that the Lavillionaire is right in front of me as he's taunting me in chat. My belt armor pretty much shrugs off his little, his little dinky AP salvo. He actually gets more out of the next one right here because he does a better job of placing it up forward against my casemate. I had the AP loaded. That's not going to get me anything. And I'm like, well, this game is over. We're down four ships. My team is dying or dead. I can't salvage anything else. Let's just end this. So I just charge him with the SAP loaded. So now I'm firing SAP directly into his bow to see what I can get out of it. And again, it ain't much. Unless his battleships save him, I might actually land this ram. He'd have to turn to get his torps off. And he doesn't get it off in time. He tries here at the end, but no. So, again, this is a complete... This is a complete disaster. This is a loss. Um, you know, you can see here as we as we look over the, the score screens, I had a pretty good game, the Chapaya had a pretty good game, and pretty much nobody else even showed up. They were too busy eating chocolate or doing whatever it was that they were doing to be bothered to actually play the game that they had signed up to play, which is a little frustrating. But um, mainly I wanted to go show you guys a little bit of how to use Amalfi, talk through some of my ammo choices, um, show you the torpedo usage, because in my mind, one of the big keys of getting the maximum amount out of the Italian cruiser line is going to be using the torpedoes, especially at about, you know, Zara on up. Uh, as you start to get the long-range torps, the 10-kilometer, the 12-kilometer torpedoes, you got to be able to get work out of those things somehow. Um, and then the, the other thing is, look at the targets I spent most of my time firing at. Enemy cruisers, enemy destroyers. That's where your SAP shells are going to do the most damage. That 8K salvo I got in the Massachusetts is nice, but it is a bit of an aberration. You cannot always expect that kind of damage. Uh, you're just, you're not always going to get it. Anyway, guys, there you go. Hope you enjoyed that little, little battle report for a quick look over here at the, the kind of the current uh, top prize of the RNG circus that they're running uh, with the, uh, the Italian missions. Uh, enjoy, hope you enjoyed that one. Take care and be safe out there.